Hello and welcome to my Curacao or Curacao Bay review. So I'm sorry I'm late. I know I have bought these things long back. Let's say about probably a month. Month? No. <clears throat> probably 15 days. I'm sorry. I recorded the green water a bit earlier. But later on it got paused. I had so many things to do. So today I sat with this. So this is Jack Fat Perfumes Perfumes 1946. So Jack Fat is a French brand. They have some amazing box packaging. So you can see. And I have bought couple of perfumes and this is my favorite that's why I thought today I will start with the Curacao Bay I say it Curacao Bay some people say it Curacao Bay especially the Americans <laughs> I don't know what's uh, which one is correct um, what I understand nothing is wrong all are correct we all we speak differently we pronounce differently so yeah anyways uh, this is uh, established in France so obviously you have to buy from France so whoever is living in UK USA and Canada I think uh, they will be able to get quickly the do internationally ship except some of the country among them my country is one of them so i had to take a lot of hassle to bring them to my country so let's talk about now curacao bay let's see the bottle this is the amazing amazing bottle they made a really really very pretty bottle this is a very uh, this was made with a lot of love. Sorry. Let me establish the something dirt. The bottle is heavy. It feels expensive. But funny part is this is not expensive brand. Seriously. The amount of money you have to spend for a PDM Delina or PDM Perfumes or um, what do you say Killian perfume this is a brand you can get those kind of high quality perfume in a much cheaper price probably you can slash the half of the price so this is a 30 ml bottle yes because I wanted to try first and uh, I think it's better if you get a small bottle first and later on you can get a better, better, a uh, big bottle. Uh, this has been described in their um, website, a woody marine scent and escapade on the deep blue ocean. I don't know what does that mean. <laughs> because this is a very interesting very very interesting one so you basically 30 ml you get it for 50 to 50 euro and let us talk about it so this is Curacao Bay and it was launched in 2015 it is a very underrated perfume in my opinion and it is more than a freshie. I understand this blue color is actually giving you the idea. Oh, this is only a fresh scent. And I have seen so many people in my life who actually uh, see the fresh scent. They don't take fresh scent seriously. They think, oh, it's a fresh scent. It doesn't have much binding or much crafting or much creation just put some lemon or put some orange and something uh, fruits and it becomes fresh i have seen such attitude 
so many times in my life. But trust me, this is more than more than a freshie. So the top notes here are tangerine, pitted grain, lemon, orange, and green notes. Middle notes, they have the C notes, frangipani, and black currant. Base notes, they have the ambergris, white mask, and woody notes. Now, I will tell you according to my experience. It's my opinion. Absolutely, you have the right to hold something else. This is the best marine high quality fragrance I have ever smelled till date. Yes, I've smelled so many, but this actually, to me, it's the best. Yes, I have much expensive perfume in my collection, even those are marine. Uh, because this one smell exactly like sea smells because that is the purpose right uh, when you're beside the blue water it will make you feel like that one first spray the salty marine notes and the ambergris took me to the Fifi Island of Thailand I have went, I went to Thailand uh, last before the COVID in 2019 I had my 31st over there and I felt this perfume took me over there slowly started to get the beautiful orange after the spray and then after two minutes of dry down the mar marine salty notes mixed well with the green notes frangipani and mask it is a linear perfume stiage is moderate frangipani is absolutely taking over with the marine scent and this is quite unusual in a marine scent and so well done you can wear it in the morning you can wear it at the night really doesn't matter it's a beautiful scent the best part of this perfume is it's not a masculine perfume um, Probably our mindset gave an idea that any blue perfume is for a man Because I have seen very less blue perfume. I've seen blue bottle of perfume for women, but I have never seen I mean I have seen but not really all I have seen unisex scent, but not particularly for women uh, This kind of blue is for men so, but this is a pure unisex fragrance. Price is also not crazy. Absolutely worth buying a full 100 ml. 100 ml will cost you, let me see how much they will cost you. Uh, sorry, they have 200 ml bottle, not 100. So that will be 124.17 euro. That's quite affordable, I think. So, in my opinion, whoever is, uh, who, who loves freshy, who loves marine salty scents, this should be in your collection. It should be a uh, holy grail one, I think so, because I'm going to get the full bottle for this one. Excellent, excellent thing. That's it from my side for the Curacao Bay. I'll see you in another perfume review. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.